Hey, and welcome back to Wendell Woodworks. I'm Danielle, and today I'm really excited to show you how to take a simple drawing like this one and transform it into a beautiful 3D multi-dimensional floral that you can make on your scroll saw. If you're not familiar with the scroll saw, you can check out my tutorial here to get you started. If you are familiar with the scroll saw, then you can probably figure out how to cut something that looks like this. Though it may look difficult, all it takes is some sanding and some gluing to really transform your piece. Here's how I did it. This is a rosa I hand drew, but I placed a link below in my description for you to use for practice. Scroll each piece one at a time, starting from the outside and working your way in. I find it helpful to print off two templates. This way, as you cut each piece, you can lay them down on your second template to keep everything in place and together. When it comes to shaping, I typically would use my Dremel, but because we're in between houses, my Dremel is still packed up, so I just used my orbital sander this time, and it worked out great. When shaping each piece, you want to focus on the top sides. It's a matter of preference how far you end up shaping it, so you want to round those edges. A Dremel is also really good for engraving small details, such as the lines on my leaves. But since I didn't have it, today I'm opting for paint, which brings us to the next step. If you need a refresher on how to paint MDF, you can check out my other tutorial here. But to put it simply, all you need to do is primer or seal your MDF before painting. And since I'm hand painting today, I opted for the Sanding Sealer by Minwax. It seals really well, but it does leave just a little bit of texture. But since I'm hand painting, I don't mind it, and it's kind of nice. The paints I'm using today are sample paints I got from the Home Depot that matched my daughter's room. The sample size cups that you can get there are a great way to get high quality paint when you just need a small amount of it. Then it's time for the glue up. You need a high quality super glue to do this, but the kind that I always use is actually packed up. So I opted for another great option, Gorilla Super Glue, which you can find just about anywhere. One option you always have to make the multi-dimensions in your work is stack cutting. And stack cutting is just when you put multiple boards together of thinner thickness, cut it all at the same time, and then once it's done, you can remove layers to kind of give it that depth. But I find that the easiest way to do this is just to make one cut with one board and then you can use the magic of your super glue to just glue your pieces off of each other just a little bit to add that added depth and dimension. And voila, we have a beautiful 3D floral that you can use on nursery signs, whatever sign you're making, it really just kind of ups your game and makes it look next level with all the detail. In my next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple faux shiplap backing that I'm gonna stick this on for my daughter's room. And I'll also show you how to make a simple frame for it that you can do at home. So subscribe below to see more of my tutorials and comment with what you're making. In the meantime, happy creating, and I will see you next time.